Hello guys, it's Josh from LM Tuning here. Today I'm going to show you how to find maps uh, using WinOLS when you have one file that is defined, as you can see on the left hand side here, and uh, one file that isn't defined, uh, which is this one up here. So basically what you got to do is, the first thing, I'll just disconnect these, import your files into WinOLS, have them side by side, as you, know, as you notice they'll both be green, um, doesn't matter where you start them. What you want to do is basically click this little icon here. That connects the two windows, or you can also press uh, Control and 2 together. Um, now basically this is up to you, whether you want to compare the values with the original of that project that you've imported and the original of that project that you've imported. Now that'll only happen if there's actually other sub um, projects within the main one, and as you can see these two are both originals anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, the address offset, let's just say 0. Um, and allow different high-low high maps. You don't need to worry about that too much. Cool, so just press OK, and as you'll see, there's, a, there's an offset of zero between the two files, um, and they don't, they don't match up right now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start with something simple, doing the ECU ID. So I've already got the ECU ID and everything connected over here, as you can see if I change it to ASCII, you can see it's all there, okay? So you've got the two point, you know, two liter, four valve TFSI. What we can do, because I know that these are both a Volkswagen GTI, if I actually select and highlight that, it'll come up on here. And that searches in the left project for a place that matches the selection in the right, which is where I've dragged it. So if I do this, as you can see here, it's connected. Some of the bytes and bits don't add up. However, this particular area of code does. Now what you can do is you can actually highlight all the maps that you want that are, that are similar. And as you'll notice, uh, there are some values that aren't the same, okay? And that's for the hardware numbers and uh, model numbers. They will be different on other ECUs a lot of the time, so don't worry about those. But as you can see, there's a general similarity between the two. So if you just highlight the maps you want, right-click, transfer selected maps. Okay, you get given this prompt here. So basically what you can do is you can actually transfer absolute and basically all the information from the right uh, the right window that I have here that's defined onto the left so that will actually copy the data within the maps as well but for the for the sake of this all I want to do is transfer the map structure okay and that allows you to, to actually change it in the other one so let's press OK and as you can see now the maps are on the left hand side so if I actually go into let's say the uh, let's say um, what uh, engine type and I pull this out and then I change that to ASCII as you can see it's a 2 litre uh, four valve TFSI. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret here. What you can actually do is you can um, edit this block here um, and put whatever you want in there. So I'll just show you something. If you highlight that, go back to 32, go edit as text, you can actually change this to whatever you want. Hello tutorial, you know, it doesn't really matter what you change that to. Um, and basically what will happen is, funnily enough, if you go into VCDS and you flash this file on after check something it, uh, in VCDS and the component uh, information it will come up with hello tutorial so you can actually make that whatever you want I wouldn't suggest changing any of the other ones as a lot as the immobilizer has to match a lot of the data that's in these other 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 memory for this particular thing but um, yeah that's just something cool that I wanted to show you so I'll just show you something a bit more useful now oh, didn't mean to copy that so let's just say we want to go to something more important like um, let's say your fueling main so we got your your lambda uh, fueling dependent on throttle position. So if we go here, again, select it, find the similarities, trans look at that, they basically exactly line up. So I can transfer across that map there, again, transfer nothing, they're the same anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But as you see now, it's, it's transferred from fueling main over in here to here, and it's also given us the folder as well, like this one has. Now I'll go find this as well. Let's try and just highlight some random bit of code. Is there a similarity? Yes, there is, particularly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to keep going down. Highlight all the maps you want. It doesn't really matter. You know, whatever you feel like doing. Okay, right click, transfer selected maps. Okay, yeah. Um, there may be some differences. Again, like I said at the top, there you go. So as you can see here, all this other bit of code here is, is a bit different, but this one, again, you can just transfer it across, you know. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how to transfer and find maps in WinOS when you already have one defined um, with two cars that are the exact same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something quite interesting um, with a Peugeot and a 1.4 uh, 
uh, Sirocco, I think it is. Sirocco. They have, they have the same engine management system. So here, if I just go here, let's have a look. Okay, so basically what we've got here is you've got a completely defined OLS file with all the different maps for all the different things. All right, and that's for 1.4 Sirocco. We, uh, as you can see here, um, let's have a look. We are MED 17. Actually, what we should do is search vehicle data, and that'll actually find something for us. No, not for this one. That's fine. All right, open Peugeot. All right, let's open this one here, the 1.6. So we've got a 1.4 and a 1.6 lined up. I press Command, uh, sorry, Control 2, Enter, put them offset at zero. Okay, now what we can do is you can try to find maps are similar. See, there you go. Although we've got a Sirocco and a Peugeot, um, because the architecture of the ECU and the engine management, engine management system itself being MED17 is similar. Um, there are there will be similarities. Now, if there will also be places where there are no similarities. Um, I'm not sure. See, as you can see, I've highlighted this. There's no similarities whatsoever. However, the best way to find them is using the axis data. So this is th this top square here is the axis data. The bottom square is normally the map data. See, again, there's no similarities. Okay, so. If you really, it, let's say this is a map you really want to find in the other file, start trying to select little pieces of the axis. So I've selected three blocks there. Uh, oops, yep, see, and so now as you as you can see here, we've got 41 results of different maps that line up with these particular uh, selected bits on the left. So what you can do is you can actually use scroll this down until you find something very similar. Um, you know that looks almost dead on. All the other data surrounding this map is is almost identical. Um, however, this map in the middle is not. Now, what I'm going to say is I'm going to going to go ahead and take a stab. Then I think this is very similar. Um, you know, let's let's just have another look to make sure. Just scrolling up, having a look. Uh, let's have a look. There really is just nothing else that looks like it's supposed to go there. So you know. Given your assumption, if you don't have access to either Pro or a Disassembler to find out where the memory addresses are and what they're calling, uh, this is a really easy way of finding out. So if you have a look there, there you go. So now you've got the data here. Um, yeah. So you know. So that's basically how to transfer maps of different files. And um, like I said before, I showed you of the uh, uh, the um, the same car, but obviously different software versions. One was the uh, GTI with a double A box Mark VI. The other one was a N box. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe.